Hi everyone. A couple of days ago, on a really warm Tuesday, I took a random notion just to head off and take some photos of one of my favourite locations, the North Burren in County Clare. I took the Canon R5 with me, a few lenses, my drone, and dare I say, my flask of tea. This is a rather new style of video from me, something I've not done that much of, but one I've thoroughly enjoyed. So let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the corkscrew in County Clare. It's a windy road that burrows its way up a hillside, giving it this sort of corkscrew shape, and it's lovely. And I'm here today in early September, and the weather is still splendid. It's really nice today. It's 23 degrees. It's roasting for this time of year. And I'm gonna pull in somewhere, and I'm gonna fly the drone. Let's just find somewhere I can pull in. God, the quietness here never ceases to amaze me. As you can see in the background here, we've got this beautiful burren landscape. Now I'll just zoom in a little bit. Now, why am I talking into my mobile phone when I have this lovely uh, Canon R5 here? And this should be picking me up pretty well. So let's switch over to this camera. Okay, guys, so that's it. Now, I'm gonna actually hop over here, over the gate, into the field, and walk yonder. And that way I'm just gonna get a slightly better vantage point, and we'll try and photograph the uh, corkscrew, the famous corkscrew hill. Now we're in the middle of the day, there's nothing special with the lighting, but, you know, we'll try it anyway. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you forget something? I forgot to put cheese in this burger. You don't forget to put cheese in a burger. Whilst I was having the tea, I spotted a house right along the edge of where the arable farmland meets the raw, exposed rock ridges of the Burren Hills. I dug out my 70 to 200 sports lens to do a nice cropped in shot of the image. of the journey here involves taking this little mountain road gravel type trail which I've never traveled on before I've never even seen this road before and I'm dead curious as to where it might lead to hopefully it won't get too bad for the car I don't think it will this is going to bring me sort of back towards an area called Blackhead in County Clare so I'm going to head back here and I'm going to just see is there anything I can photograph really just pulled in here at the side of the road at almost Blackhead here in County Clare. Now, I've never actually been to this area before. I've never actually been in this little section of road and seen that kind of uh, little V-shaped valley in front of me. So what I'm gonna do now is just fly the Phantom and see what it looks like. At just over 300 meters or so, these Burren Hills aren't particularly high, but it's the detail in those limestone ridges that make them so interesting.
Oh, you're doing well. Yeah. Earlier on, when I was flying the drone, I saw a little stoat come out on the road. Now, a stoat is the same animal pretty much as a weasel. I think in the UK they call them weasels, to, here we call them stoats. So I came back here and I said, you know what, I'm going to try out my big lens. And I took out my lens and sure enough, a stoat comes out on the road. Not one stoat, but two stoats. And one of the stoats was actually an albino stoat. So in the excitement, um, I tried to knock off a few shots and then they ran into the grass. And then I checked to see if I got any usable shots. And then when I looked up from my camera, they were right in front of me, like three meters away. They ran along the rock there around along the stone wall and they were backlit. If I had a 70 to 200 on the camera, it would have been perfect. But unfortunately, this was a bit too big. It was one of those opportunities that I missed. It could have been so good. After my little episode with the stoats, I was about to move on and then I spotted something, a buzzard. Buzzards are a large hawk that have re-established themselves in Ireland over the last 20 years. But they're a very wary bird and difficult to photograph. So with this buzzard looking for those stoats, I knew I was in with a chance to capture it. I just had to be very careful and I had to stay in the car. Here I have the passenger window down and I have the lens balanced on the edge of the door. I eventually got out of the car to get one last shot of the buzzard in flight. Driving in the burn. So I've just been driving along here. Um, the light isn't brilliant, but the sun is beginning to go a bit lower in the sky and as I was passing these mobile homes along the beach here, along the sort of grassy dunes, I noticed something sort of nice about them, a kind of an interesting pattern. So I'm going to just pull in and maybe bang on the 70 to 200 and see if I can get a little picture of them. This is a remarkable place. It's just so nice down here. Hopefully the sun will come back out again and light me up a little bit. Um, I think it is actually. Yeah, I'm getting some light there now. So if I kind of crop from there to about there, it's going to be sort of a, you know, a widescreen three to one sort of ratio uh, image. I couldn't quite compose the image I saw in my head from where I was standing. So I actually went into somebody's garden to get a better angle. I figured I could explain my way out of it if I was caught. I ended up right beside Fenor Beach, one of my favorite beaches in the west of Ireland. So it was time to take some time out and get a nice swim in the fresh Atlantic. Thank you. 
I've just pulled in here right at the corner of Blackhead in County Clare. Now, if you live in Galway like I do, you're always looking at this little point, but it's very rare that you drive all the way over here. And now that I'm here and the sun is setting, it's just absolutely amazing. So luckily I've seen a little gap in the wall here, which will allow me to pop over and uh, get down into this lovely textured uh, limestone. What you have here is you have a very unique limestone landscape and it's been around for God knows how long. And you have all this texture of, uh, of rock formed from sediment that landed on the seabed. And it's a very unique place and there's not that much of it like in Ireland. It's only a patch here. It's a couple of hundred square miles, yeah, but it's really unique. So there's a road that just goes around the corner here at Blackhead and I think it could make for a nice photograph with the cars going around it. So what I might do is I'll probably just fly the drone just while it's fairly bright and see can I get a nice aerial of that corner because I think it could lend itself to a good shot. Let's try it, okay. So I flew the drone and it was slightly underwhelming because I was planning on getting really epic shots and I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. As nice as this location is, I can't really see a photograph. So I don't know if I should, um, you know, try and get something here or get back in the car and see if there's something a little bit nicer around the corner before the sun goes down. Okay, so the sun is actually setting very quickly now and sadly it's gone behind a lot of cloud. But I'm gonna take a photograph anyway and I had a look around and I spotted these sort of little collection of rocks here. So I'm gonna just take a shot with the R5 on a tripod, something I never do, and see how it works out. I might take two exposures, I don't know. Would you believe it? The sun has gone down and I'm seeing this gorgeous colouring off the sea here. The sun is that way but there's a reflection off this cloud here and uh, I'm going to shoot it on the actual S1 for the crack. Oh! No filters, um, no nothing. So I'll have to go to photography mode. Manual focus. Getting a nice jet coming up there. So that is it from me, from the burn. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got something out of it. I really enjoyed it. I started a little bit later than I wanted and I didn't think I'd get as much done, but it was a fairly productive afternoon and I got some nice content. There was the buzzard in there, there was the animals, the little stoats, and they disappeared when the buzzard came on the scene, no wonder. And then there was the different little excursions. I got a nice swim in the water. I didn't film that. And I also did some aerials. So it was a great afternoon. And now it's time to hit the road.